It's my feel good birthday show. Free to be you. Live, work, play, sleep, allergy free with Allergix non drowsy. Yep, and in case you haven't picked it up yet, sneeze into your elbow because there's a lot of sneezing going on. You can hear my sinuses even now as I speak. So a little bit later on in the show, we're going to be exploring the spring air at Musenberg Beach. Hopefully the flowers aren't there um, to the same extent as they are everywhere else in Cape Town at the moment. Uh, spring is often associated with a celebration of bright colours and we love that. But for some, this is a pretty intense, dreadful season full of tissues and staying indoors. But what if I told you a little bit of help is closer than you think? So here to discuss how a simple trip to the pharmacy can make a massive difference in our lives is pharmacist Jackie Maiman. Jackie, welcome back. Thank you very much. How are you doing? Uh, normally in winter we ask these questions like, how are you faring? Are you healthy? How's the immune system? But wow, this spring is hitting hard. What is going on? Why is absolutely everybody reaching for the tissues right now? No, absolutely. I'm, I'm the same as you, <laughs> struggling a little bit here. But yes, I mean, it, it's a wonderful season. I mean, um, it's just all the flowers. It's beautiful. So of course the pollen levels are up. And we breathe the pollen in, and that sparks off the allergies, the streaming nose, the itchy eyes, the scratchy throat. So, yes, unfortunately, that goes with the beauty. Um, and we'll take it. We'll take it. Let's be honest, because we just need to survive, and there is help at hand. And I think this is where our pharmacists really do come to bear in this kind of lane. So when we step in to your office, what are those first questions we should be asking you to empower you as a pharmacist? Okay, so I think really this time of the year we are seeing lots of people with allergies. But the first question you need to ask is, is this an allergy? You know, you want to treat something correctly. Sure. So we're just coming out of the COVID pandemic, so we need to make sure that it's not a viral infection or a bacterial infection. So I think that's always the first question. Describe your symptoms. We need to know, is it seasonal? Is it, is it just happening now? What exactly are the symptoms? And from there, we can take it. You know, we know how to treat you. We also need to know your lifestyle, you know. For instance, you up at crack of dawn, <laughs> you can't afford to take a drowsy antihistamine. First thing in the day. Especially. First thing in the yeah, day, exactly. Sure. So we need to know those sorts of things. Um, and we know that antihistamines are vital, They're like a pillar of medicine in my, uh, as soon as you have kids, you, you really do understand that. Um, this being said, when they say, when you say a pharmacist needs to know your history, what are those crucial points that you need to bring up or that your pharmacist needs to be aware of? Okay, so as I've already said, I think describe um, all of your symptoms. symptoms. When do they happen? But we also need to know a bit about yourself. So say, for instance, um, I've already said, if you're a, a driver of one of these big lorries, the last yeah. thing we want to do is give you an antihistamine that's going to make you fall asleep. For sure. All right. The other thing that we need to know is, do you suffer from high blood pressure? Do you have any indigestion, stomach ulcers? Because it depends on those sorts of questions or answers as to which medication we're going to give you. What do you prefer? Do you prefer a nose spray? Do you prefer eye drops? Or can we just give you a tablet? Long acting, short acting? For There's sure. so many different um, aspects that we need to understand. Um, and these do make a difference because how we feel about our medicine does affect how it works. And I know we, we, you know, the psychosomatic effect of medicine is something that we've often spoken about, but it does make a difference. You need to trust in that process. I've got to ask, because we have been featuring some amazing stories of pharmacies over these last couple of years, playing so much more of a critical role within communities because of COVID, because of the devastation in KZN. For me, that's being brave. If I had to ask you that question, what do you think being brave means to you? And how do you feel about the fact that this campaign we've been, done with Adcock Ingram OTC, the sponsors of Brave, celebrating pharmacies and that connection to communities, how much does that mean to you coming from your side of the fence? No, absolutely. I think um, the whole Being Brave um, campaign has been absolutely awesome. You know, right at the beginning of the pandemic, when we went into hard lockdown, our pharmacists were there every day. We had to get permits. We had to climb over, I don't know how many hurdles, <laughs> just to get to work. Flaming hoops. Exactly. Yeah. And that we were there, or they were there, to be able to help people at a time when there was so much uncertainty. So for me, that was incredibly brave. They turned up for work every day. They faced the COVID virus. Yeah. Um, but it's ongoing. It's, it's this innate um, desire to help and look after our communities. We really are right there inside our communities. So for me, being brave is just turning up every day, helping 
doing our best to make sure that people live their best lives. I love that, showing up. Um, and I'm, I'm just thinking about Ian, my pharmacist now, who's played such a pivotal role in my life and my kids' life over the last few years. So to the Noyes family, I see you guys as well. Um, but Jackie, thank you so much. Your industry is amazing, and I really do understand now why you guys are a pillar of our community. So thank you so much. And yes, there is help at hand. The two of us are trying to stop sniffing as we sit here because it is that season. Remember, September is National Pharmacy Month, so lean on them. They are there to help you. Self-care is, in fact, a basic human right, and your pharmacist is your partner in this journey. So support your local pharmacy. They really are, as I said, a pillar of our community. And, of course, brought to you by Adagex Non-Drowsy, almost designed for my line of work in proud association with Adcock Ingram OTC, who are the sponsors of of a brave building communities one pharmacy at a time now don't forget that you stand the chance of winning a 2000 rand take a lot voucher daily let's tell you how spring is glory <laughs> Oh, oh, bless you, man. Ooh. Bless you. Ah, unless you suffer from allergies. But that has all changed with Allergex non-drowsy and the wonders of spring competition on Espresso this September. <laughs> so stand a chance to win a daily giveaway Monday to Friday of a 2,000 Rand Take Lot voucher to spend on the best outdoor living gear. I love that. So answer the weekly question on the Espresso Facebook or Twitter pages and include that all-important Allergex ND. The competition runs from the 1st till the 28th of September and those terms and conditions do apply. Good luck and bless you, man.